Well, every day we tell you we're looking for people who help us get going in the morning. Well, today's News 4 Morning Person is actually Morning Persons. The people like Jerry Edwards, who work in the sometimes cacophonous world of metro traffic. We are heating up, uh, not in the good way, unfortunately. Delays just after Dale City. No accidents on 66, but the usual volume building. So it goes, non-stop, every day, Metro traffic anchors reporting on the stopping and the going of the morning rush hour. After 6 o'clock, it starts getting nuts, and it really stays this way. 9 o'clock used to be the cutoff, but now it gets later and later and later. They get their information from cameras, emergency radio scanners, and phone calls. Big deals, lanes blocked, beltway shut down, we yell it out. Everybody hears it, which is, you know, the, the old way we used to do it. So there are two wrecks on 29, southbound at New Hampshire Avenue, two left lanes, southbound before Burnt Mills, traffic was getting by in the center lane. Usually leave the house a little after 4. I usually get up about 3 o'clock. Leave the house at 4, get in here by 4.30. Penline 400 is canceled. 402 will make the local stops and Metro will honor tickets. You really have to kind of filter down with the information you receive, either by computer, two-way scanner, cell phone producers, filter down what's important, toss all the other stuff that's not important. 95 is backed up to north of 100. We have to be right and, and trying to make sure that we've got the correct lane that's blocked, the correct backup, uh, all of that information just comes boom, 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 boom. And sometimes it's a struggle to stay up with that. And Jerry Edwards sees himself as an advocate for the commuter. And I don't mind raising a holy stink when we have to with the authorities to try to rectify a problem that can be taken care of like that. You like your job. I love my job. I love my job. I really do. And that shows in the daily reliability and quality of his work. The only incident of any consequence was a broken down vehicle in the median strip near the Capitol Beltway. Travel lanes are open. Barbara and Joe, back to you. Well, thank you, Jerry. And when he says he's willing to raise a stink with authorities, he means that he will, and he has, called local police and transportation departments to let them know that a problem exists and that no one has responded in a timely manner. Again, we're always looking for people who help, who help us get up and get the day started. Any suggestions? You can email us at morningperson at NBC4.com. Barbara?